All right, here, I'm, I'm just going to clap for everybody so everybody's in Grease. sync. All right, bam. Okay. No, <laughs> that, no one heard that. That's what the football teams do, Will. Grease, my <laughs> every freaking Grease, play. They, they my get headphones everybody did not in go into your microphone. Somebody claps to get everybody in sync so that they're mm. moving as one unit. They get out there. It's 11, 11, it's 11 on 11. <laughs> Omaha. <laughs> Some people say that the the wide, you know, the big wide camera at the on the on the thing about you know, like when you're when they're filming the thing, sure. And the all jumbo twenty two football players, no, no, the wide shot, and all twenty two players are in there. They call that the catch twenty two. That's where they came up <laughs> with that thing. Perry, Perry, I'm not happy. even kidding, bro. <laughs> Oh, I've I'm just so glad that we're <laughs> mammals. Can I get an amen? amen? Wouldn't you hate being a freaking cold-blooded, like freaking reptile? I mean, that any day that the, I don't have to lay be... an egg is a good day. back everybody to a special episode of this is my bourbon podcast uh i'm perry i'm your host and i have a couple uh, uh special special guests here on this bonus episode this week you guys know them because they've been on the show before and you probably listen to them too because why wouldn't you it's will and the grease from the podcast guys hello what's up hey well hey. what's up hey, there's perry. a lot of things that what's up we just had a full-blown conversation for about 30 minutes about the where the phrase catch twenty two came from and how I get Kim Kardashian and Will confused. There's only uh, so Perry, much we can cover. You're gonna after regret that. tonight. You uh definitely had reserved grease on your show last time we joined you. <laughs> it's all bets are off now that he knows you. So. Well that's fine. I mean and and who knows how many he's in so far too, but that's uh <laughs> That's also you, the uh, thing you'd never know. I want y'all yeah. to look at this. I was going to have Perry tell me what to get into. I hadn't had a dang drop. Oh, well, you know what you should get into then, because it's only tradition now that you guys have been on the show before, is some Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. I got some of that. What I, I'll that's saunter what I've been on over tonight. here. I got so do many you, freaking headphones on, though. Do you have the B517 on, grease? I need y'all to calm down. Well, it doesn't mm. have to be the B517 uh, there, Will. It could be whatever. This is a nice shot. That's that, fair. I just mean that's what we did last time. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I just actually killed my bottle that uh, we were. Did you? I did. Yeah. Just. I mean, not even thirty minutes ago. Um, oh. Because I, I, I like actually, legitimately just did. Yeah. No. Seriously. Like I just got done with a live stream over on my Instagram feed. Yeah. And uh, I my the theme was Elijah Craig barrel proofs. So. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I I try to tune in most Tuesday nights. I appreciate that when man. you're uh, when you're doing the live stream on Instagram. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it I is. couldn't do it this week because I was I'm uh, I was trying to get ahead of some some chores that I was left with, <laughs> so that I could do this uh, open endedly. Man, so. I appreciate that. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, I got the I got the B five one seven over here. The the original barrel proof from uh, you guys being on the show. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I don't think I, that was the original. Like Breeze never proof. left. <laughs> like, I mean, I, you know, I, I don't know, you know, most things, most things. <laughs> I'm, that was, I'm pretty that was sure awful. this ain't the first barrel proof. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, uh, I had a little bit left over from, so I did a side by side of the A117 and the A118. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I just kind of threw the, the two of them together and saw what I came up with. And uh, I haven't had any of the 18 releases well hey what will thought well yeah. there there's only one out right thus far though right no the b518s come out too as B5, far as I know. that's right b518 yeah. yeah yeah i haven't had either of them well lucky for you guys i'm going to be coming down to franklin tennessee here in about a week <gasps> and a half what are you coming down here oh for, yeah Perry? that's well, weird that's yeah, so weird the, why are you coming here uh, the gas prices are high for get the, gas before you get here 
<laughs> I'm going to be coming down for the Southern Whiskey Society event, uh, which is at the factory in Franklin, Tennessee, and is put on is. by uh, Made South and uh, mm-hmm. your friend and mine, Chris Thomas. Yep. Who is uh, the notorious loser of Barn Night on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish he needs to. He just. Let's just be honest. I've never seen somebody vote for themselves <laughs> so much that I have Chris Thomas. But I mean, hey, you know, like he's a winner. <laughs> yeah, he's a hey man. We he's can a good always guy. like predict his outcome because he's always going to be number one regardless. <laughs> yeah, I had to vote myself number one when we did that podcast uh, whistle pig pick rye. But, I mean that stuff. Oh, that's what I was going to actually pour while I had you guys on because that's some good oh. stuff. Oh, I had a uh, Dustin Whitaker. We made it ourselves. Some, I know you guys <laughs> <laughs> distilled yeah, it's, and everything. Right it's in a, the it's what backyard. I like to call very wry. <laughs> Who do you mean they there, Grease? Oh. Um, <laughs> are you talking about me and Will? Sure. Why not? Well, no, you, you said something poetic earlier. I just want to throw it back. You said, you know, you took the A, A115 or whatever it was, and then the, the A2. 18 or whatever it was and you said and said you just mix them together you whirled them around to see what you came up with that's that's I, exactly I what the podcast is yeah it's just <laughs> will and the grease we just we you know we slapped the mint we muddled it all together and just i just learned so, that that was a real term by the way slap the mint i thought so we were you know talking what, about something else but do you what? know what it's actually called when you slap the mint um nope you're gonna laugh you're gonna laugh Binging? it's called no, it's called spanking the mint. Well, you know, I mean that's the same. <laughs> I mean, slapping, spank, I mean, <laughs> hitting and punching. I don't know. <laughs> Good lord! I just thought I'd throw that out there for you guys. But Golly. anyway, yeah. I mean, so um, I'm a few days away from Sunday, but I might need it to get here faster. So <laughs> just get back to even. <laughs> You got All a lot right. to you got a lot to ask repentance for there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, yeah. So you talked about Southern Whiskey Society. Do you want us to talk a little bit about what the heck that is? Yeah. Well, first off, I want to say um, since I'm going to be coming down, I may as well bring you guys a sample of the A118. Oh yeah. And, along with some other samples too that I've been meaning to bring you guys, but. Uh, you know, I, I think I might have a surprise or two in store for you all Ooh. once I once I get down there. But that's that's another conversation. Go ahead and talk a little bit about uh, Southern Whiskey Society and what it is and how you guys are involved with it. Well, since Grease is so eager, I'll let him start and then I'll clean up whatever <laughs> yeah. incorrect so, things. So is it kind of like around the horn? Like I'll go and then you'll tell me how many mistakes I made. Uh, I've always sure. thought myself as a Tony Reale. So look. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, actually not at the end of the day, uh, the event is essentially probably 30 different distilleries, um, and there's nine chefs coming across the south um, that are going to be representing, uh, you know, just kind of their flair on some southern cuisine, southern dishes. Um, you know, the whiskey's good. I've, you know... I, it's it's fun coming together. It's fun drinking whiskey. But I'm telling you right now, the the ace in the hole is the dang food. Um, <laughs> it's real good. And um, and yeah, so uh, you know, so there's a there's there's different things going on. You know, there's a you know a private dinner the night before um, that you can buy into. There's also a VIP extra hour um, where. Uh, I, I don't know if anything is confirmed yet, but however, last year during the VIP hour, there was um, Four Roses Al Young being poured. There was uh, Al Bourbon Batch Seven. There was Al Rye Batch One. Um, there was just there was a uh, oh the it, it is confirmed it is confirmed that this year Dixon will be pouring Al Batch Eight Bourbon and Al Al Rye Batch Two only during the VIP hour. Yes, so, so that is that is kind of a, a reason to, if you were considering it or on the fence, whether you get that extra hour, that is a very good reason to uh, to partake in that. I really definitely. Think so. definitely. Yeah, I mean, if you're going if you're going to a bar, that alone, that that alone is going to run you about <laughs> seventy five bucks to probably pour those two options. But um, yeah. no, yeah, you know, it's it's very it's unique. In the fact that number one, it's in a town that is in magazines. Franklin, Tennessee, is just 
just God's gift to humanity. It is a fun little town. It's an old town. Great shopping. Great restaurants. Um, great. Uh, I mean, we've we've got a podcaster. Uh, his name is Zach Helton. He's a bartender at Cork and Cow. Um, he's I'm drinking he, a cocktail made by him right now. Exactly. He is. A, he he's an award winning guy. He's he's local into town. Uh, it's it's held at the factory, which is just a haven of cool restaurants and shops in itself. But um, but yeah, yeah talk so a little I mean, bit it's, about it's the a, it's a great too. spot for a two day weekend. Um, and we've so got people the, coming from all over the country, even San Francisco, San Diego, even uh, Michigan, Utah, all these places um, just to come in for that. Just because, number one, like a lot of people just kind of tend to love to gravitate towards the Nashville area. Um, but Franklin's also a little special. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just a little quaint little town. But uh, a lot of whiskey being served um, for three hours. Actually, is it? You know, it's five to nine, so it's four hours if you do the VIP. <laughs> so, yeah, um, tread so lightly, let, my friends. Pro let tip. me give let me give more. some uh, details here. And Perry, you asked about the factory, right? Yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. So the factory itself is a uh, old. It's over a hundred years old. It was a stove factory originally, and right. th- then it's been many things throughout the years. Now it's kind of a um, indoor mall, but like boutique style things. There's like a um, there's a meat market in there. There's a Jenny's ice cream. There's some other restaurants. There's a taco shop. There's uh, some clothing stores. There's, there's a famous donut um, shop called Five Daughters. There's a donut shop. There's uh, <laughs> there then there's a couple of event spaces that they do. Um, so one they do like uh, stage shows in plays, and then it's also festivals like made south market which made south puts on southern whiskey society does the holiday market at the factory in these big kind of open halls and southern whiskey society will be in one of those big open halls and last year and it will be a very similar setup is that it's kind of uh wraps around the inside of this hall and then there's kind of open space to mingle in the middle Mm-hmm. And we're going to be up on uh, a s- slight stage at the back of the hall doing live podcasting. And we'll also be in the Buffalo Trace Lounge. So up there, there'll be cocktails from Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace will also have another booth uh, where they're mm-hmm. pouring different things. But the the barrel pick we went on for Southern Whiskey Society, yeah. we picked a barrel of Weller Antique, will be served there. And it'll be, I believe, at the Buffalo Trace Lounge up on the stage with us. That's awesome. And so that's kind of an area. There's going to be like leather furniture and just a place to chill out. Um, but then around the room are these award-winning chefs. There's nine of them from around the South. Uh, James Beard nominees and winners uh, from right. all, all different styles of Southern cuisine. Uh, what, what's uh, some of the things? I, Chris has been telling me a few of them, but different dishes that incorporate local fare and mm-hmm. uh like uh, there's a, a rice farm out of the mississippi delta two brooks farm that uh is providing some of the rice for some of the chefs to use and then like springer mountain farms in georgia has uh, these like high quality uh chicken products that are uh, that, that's a weird way to say that but they're <laughs> they're a chicken farm <laughs> so, but so they're uh, chicken town. products <laughs> yeah yeah but it's like you know Mount chicken Airy, product it's uh um, sanctuary mcdonald's chicken nuggets <laughs> but so there's that there's like a, a beef supplier that uh, a local all local um stuff not like big corporate you know generic far- but local farmers that are providing really high quality stuff to for the chefs and right. then yeah, they're, they're all creating something unique and different, and they're like tasting size dishes. You can go back and get as many as you want. But uh, I, I've heard a <laughs> few things this year, but like last year, I don't want to give away those surprises, but like last year, there's a guy, David Bancroft, from a, a restaurant down in Auburn that he had like a fried catfish slider with chow chow and Alabama oh, white dang. sauce. And then there was like, um, like, there was uh, some boudin there. Yeah, some boudin, some uh, some wild game awesome. from uh, that was cooked mm-hmm. in a very unique way. Like all sorts of different things that, it, and Grease said it was the, the you know the wild card or the ace in the hole or whatever. And it really <laughs> is because it's a one. If you were to go to all of these 
people's restaurants and try their unique award-winning cuisines, you'd be spending thousands of dollars yeah. to do this. Yeah. And you're getting to go talk with them. Every single one of them w- last year was so friendly and just would sit there and they're they're the busiest people I've ever seen in my entire life. Like they're trying to make sure <laughs> they're continuing uh, with this large event, you know, to make sure the food's there, but they're also taking time to talk to you and and enjoy being at this thing. But then there's also 30 distilleries represented and right. Most distilleries are bringing multiple labels. So Willet's going to be there this year and they're bringing their uh their rye. They're bringing Johnny Drum, they're bringing That's awesome. Pure Kentucky XO, you know, like they're bringing a full lineup of things to taste. Mm-hmm. A lot of times also these labels will bring a surprise. Uh, sometimes that surprise is gone by the time the VIP hour is over. Sure. Also, sure. I can't confirm or deny that the surprise will exist. But they <laughs> last year, and if the trend we're continues, one for there, one with a crap ton of surprises. Right. There were lots of good surprises. <laughs> but there's just a lot of things to drink and a lot of things to try that also you may not uh, necessarily either be able to get in your market or that you may not necessarily know if it, you're a huge fan of at that point right and then you go up and you're like my gosh this is life-changing and it, it's yeah. it, it's very similar in that aspect of whiskey festivals where uh there are many brands present however this mm-hmm. is less like trade show and more um gathering it, it's sure. very yeah it's a hang it's very <clears throat> hangouty it's very um relationship oriented and, and meeting these people and, and enjoying it. It's in this brick walled hall with just, you know, this old feeling and it's kind of dim and it's got Edison light bulbs hanging from the rafters all over this place. And it's, there's these two fools up on stage (laughs) podcasting and (laughs) delicious food. And it's honestly, it's just a super memorable night that I have literally been excited about since last year's ended (laughs) so that's awesome well i think what's so exciting about it too is that i mean to to kind of piggyback off of your comment about you know you get to try things that you might not have ever been able to try before or you know you don't know whether or not you're gonna like you're not only trying that in you know isolation you're trying that with a a group of people yeah right you're trying that with people who you can also have conversations about it with and you know i think that's what's so exciting for me is that i'm not going just as perry ritter of this is my bourbon podcast Mm -hmm. you know i'm going as just myself and getting to have a really good communion with people who like the same thing that i do or love the same thing that i do yeah and you know that i think that it's in no small part that we, I mean, we we owe Chris Thomas for you know this <laughs> vision and and everything too, and you guys for you know being a big part of it as well. But I I think that this is starting to catch on, and you guys have talked about it as well as being the premier whiskey event of the South. Yeah, and I think that that's a really good way of putting it. it even in it, this is just the second year, right? Right. Right. I mean that that's incredible that it's already gaining the traction that it is. And well, I think and, that yeah, and to think you back off of that, I, I think <clears throat> because it is that relationship focused event, it's not just trade show, it's not there I don't know, I think the aspect that it's not yeah. in Louisville or something actually adds to that mm-hmm. because you also you're getting the food the food is showcased just as much there's yeah. also uh, there's a designated driver's ticket which it's like if your <laughs> spouse or girlfriend or boyfriend or whoever's listening if they aren't into whiskey they can come for a freaking bargain and yeah. get to eat all that food and hang out and have a good time and because it's so chill and it, it's got that relationship thing you're having a great time regardless yeah, i talked to course. countless amount of people that brought someone with them on a designated driver's ticket last year that i think was having more fun than the person that was there that brought them there because they were just like i don't know about that will i do grease i know for a fact <laughs> i don't know 
<laughs> well, I'm I just saying they were pretty good time last year. Will. They were loving it. They were having such a great time because of it. There were so many things to do and so much to take in outside sure. of just. It wasn't just like a drink fest. <laughs> There was right. it was the appreciation of the whiskey, it was the appreciation of the food. It was people hanging out, meeting new people. Uh, Chad and Sarah were there last year, mm-hmm. and they hung out with us for a good time. They actually ended up going to hang out with friends of ours afterwards, like just because that right. was the. Also, Grease lied to them and and told them. Um, I think he said the very worst whiskey at that after party would be. Uh, Weller twelve, <laughs> and that was like he had no knowledge of this. No, he that's said he goes the case. No, he goes man. The very worst whiskey will be Weller twelve, and I know for a fact there's going to be a, a twenty one year old Willet open. And then they were like, oh, well, we're going to go to that. And Grease and they did. after they walked away, yeah, they did. And I go, Grease, how do you know that? He goes, I don't know. It just felt right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it didn't feel right. The thing about it is, I mean. I'm, <laughs> I had got like so sold them so we've never told the story publicly, so I, I hope haven't. Chad and Sarah and hear honestly, this. Honestly, it's all just kind of coming back to me right now. Like the keywords <laughs> you're saying right now, like I'm like, oh yeah, I do remember that. I mean, I remember I was I was buzzed during that too. Um, you also had like a religious experience in a Tesla with me and Dixon Deadman. So oh, yeah, that was. Who knows what what you were saying? You know, speaking uh, speaking of, um, you know, uh, what what I do love uh, a- another aspect of this is, you know, obviously we have a pretty good friendship uh, relationship with Dixon Deadman, and it all grew out of this exact event last year. Um, you know, just if you sit there and you put the value of your ticket on the fact that you get to try, you know, a half ounce to an ounce at a time of all of these different whiskeys, you're probably saying like, man, I got that at home. Um, but that's not really what it is. It's, yeah. it's, um, you know, you get to, you get to talk to the makers, you get to talk to the, I mean, at the very least, there's probably going to be somebody, you know, in marketing at Buffalo trace that you can make a relationship with. Like, right. Like, exactly. oh, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going to talk to this person and see what the process is to go pick a dang barrel. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, how do I do that? You can sit there and have that conversation. Plus, two, you've got all kinds of people walking around as far as and, and, inst- and Instagram because influencers, it's, whiskey people. Yeah. Um, you know, like Tim. Because like Tim's it's underman. removed from the also like that aspect of it being a, like a bourbon festival. Or something where it's multiple sure. days and there's um, buyers there and, and and distributors and marketers. Like there's that kind of business side of it because it's removed yeah. from all that. I feel like you, you're you more comfortable in having those unique conversations with people. And I feel like also people's, not, not in a bad way, but maybe their guard is a little bit more relaxed in to just sure. be like, yeah, here, here's what it's actually like. Here's what life is mm-hmm. like. You know, like I'm not trying to sell to you to start picking us up in your, you know, Nebraska market. I'm just here to talk about our product and have a good time. Yeah, Yeah, I I, I think one of the biggest things to me, um, especially because, you know, I was at batch one. Um, This is this year's batch two. Um, (laughs) The the biggest thing for me, it's 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 not like it's going to be that much different than what I experienced last year. However, like I don't want to miss out on those conversations like you know that that's the biggest thing for me is like man i i wouldn't miss this event for the world just because i don't i don't want to be left out you know what i mean like Like, i I just get there and i don't want to close my eyes i don't want to fall asleep i (laughs) still miss batch one and i don't want to miss a thing you know it the the hardest thing will and i have to figure out during four hours of potential podcasting is 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 how how do we drink and talk whiskey for four hours <laughs> and oh, make well, it mean, to the after party? You know what I mean? And we did, uh, we did it, we did it because sure. of all the dang good food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. Grease blinded chefs last year on Crystal Burgers. Oh yeah. Oh jeez. <laughs> he he brought a whole <laughs> yeah. thing of Crystal Burgers and he Look, made you guys been- he made chefs eat them. You guys have been talking a lot about what's the greasiest thing ever recently. That's the greasiest thing I oh. think I've ever oh, heard. Oh, yeah, yeah, blinding for people sure. on crystal burgers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was one there was one woman, I can't remember her name. 
um, last year, and she she did not appreciate it. <laughs> no, was that the same lady that you got to drink the Chattanooga whiskey, or was that a couple of years? That was before that, right? Oh, different, di- completely different event. Okay, yeah. that's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, no, getting, yeah, that's, getting that's, events confused. Yeah, that's, that's an event in a neighborhood here in town. <laughs> right. But no. Um, Mm-mm. Different event, Greece. Oh. Uh, okay, well, I don't even know. Oh, no. <laughs> no, that was a private corporate event we do. Yeah, yeah. We do that. People have us come in for private corporate events. No big deal. <laughs> um, no, uh, I don't know what I was saying, but yeah, everything else about that and everything else. No, she did. She, yeah, she just started going off. She's like, oh, a terrible relish. <laughs> oh god grade d beef what is this stuff this is sodium <laughs> just like i mean like just knocking it <laughs> grade d beef but you know what you know it's but not, then we have one there... then we had one chef uh uh Bou- boudreau jean paul bourgeois bourgeois <laughs> 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 Boutros, Boutros I bourgeois bourgeois i don't know <laughs> anyway so um, I mean, it's like, you know, my last name's Giesler. I mean, what are you going to do with that? That's why we just call him <laughs> Grease. Anyway, so um, anyway, he, he actually came up there and he was like, man, yeah, some, this is some uh, this is some good drunk food. <laughs> like he was <laughs> he also he, he went along with it. he's like, I'm getting like essence of uh, like onions on a griddle. Um, <laughs> yeah, literally, that's good. that's uh-huh. literally one of the <laughs> he was he, he was a good sport about it. He was. He's my he's my spirit animal. He's coming back this year. He is. Yeah. He's from Blue Smoke in New York. It's a barbecue restaurant in oh that's uh, awesome. in like the Flatiron District. That's now, now you're gonna be sitting there saying, "Now hang on just a second. Y'all said <laughs> Southern Chefs, and he's up in New York. He is from Louisiana. You guys he know is. I trust you. And yeah. he's also making a freaking baller cornbread pudding something cornbread. Some cereal. cereal. <laughs> yeah, it's called cornbread cereal, I think. And it, it sounds incredible. Yeah. So I'm totally yeah, down it, for that. Cornbread cereal actually doesn't sound incredible. When you when you hear the ingredients, which we yeah. don't have a list of right now, <laughs> it's literally like, holy cow. <laughs> right. So we've we've touched on it a little bit, but I, I think one of the things I'm most excited for, and I don't know if it's because I'm gonna be, you know having as good a time as I am right now at that point in the night, but the after party. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. So we got a little I, after party happening just for our, you know, it, you know, for our listeners that, you know, we've been in contact with, you know, just on a, uh, like a rooftop bar afterwards, just because we have so many people coming in from, I mean, across the country. Uh, we just want right. to make sure that we get some dedicated time with them. So um, we've carved out a couple of hours after the four hours. I mean, the thing about it is, is during that four hours, like Will and I aren't going to be able to talk much. Um, yeah. You know, we, we are. Yeah, we, we learned this last year is that, one, especially for us, like the, the time flew by. And uh, right. we didn't get to spend as much time talking with people outside of like sit down and talk on a microphone mm-hmm. but like there were a good amount of people there that were like oh hey it's so good to meet you and we would could stop for a few minutes but we were there kind of um as, as the uh the sideshow up there on stage <laughs> but but they were like we were serving a purpose we were also emceeing the event and right. giving out instructions and there was like a uh a, a, a best in show like kind of award where people were voting for their favorite whiskey and stuff like that so there was a we had duties that we had to fulfill. And, and so we realized like, man, we, we kind of feel like everyone else like probably had the time of their life. And we did have the time of our life. But the one thing we were like, man, the people that we know were there and, and wanted to hang out and everything, we weren't able to necessarily provide that aspect of it. And so we're like, okay, we're going to fulfill our, our uh, duties there and help um, uh, lead this thing and and guide everyone through this wonderful thing we call Southern Whiskey Society. But then right. we want to make sure we can just kick back, not have to worry about like, okay, it, well, I can talk to you, but in three minutes I have to go make an announcement. So mm-hmm. uh, I'm going to leave you. Like we just want to go chill for a little bit. And yeah. Right. So that's why we, we decided, hey, let's do a little after party. content too. 
um, you know, <laughs> just so that everyone right. We release we release a show that we record there. Yeah, um, of course. To to course. in our podcast feed. So yeah, yeah. Well, okay. So uh, a couple more things before we wrap up this uh, this special bonus episode. First thing is that uh, what are you guys most looking forward to uh, this year at Southern Whiskey Society? Oh, I got to say the after party just because last year, <laughs> and, and I know that's terrible to say, but Chris would understand too. Chris Once is actually everything's excited over, about everybody's it. paid their money. <laughs> I know. Well, see, Chris is excited about it because he, he actually hired someone to take his place so that he can join us immediately. Um, no, I mean... You know, yes, like it, it's cool. It's a can, hey, Grease. Can I clear up what you meant by that? Yeah, <laughs> just, just for everyone. <laughs> what? Because there are so many incredible people coming from. We have probably f- like four listeners from California, at least one from Nevada, uh, people from Indiana, Illinois, Ohio, <clears throat> Alabama. We've got Fifty people that have reached out to me for the after party. Yeah, so we there are people coming literally from across the United States to right. Franklin, Tennessee for this event. And yeah. so what Grease is so excited about is how what a, a large swath of of people and very cool people. Chris Kettner from uh Barrels and Mash. Um, yeah. He's coming and, and will be there. So Oklahoma, like just just a very cool Tim Gunderman from San Francisco. Wh- whiskey fan like it's like a mecca for that this this yeah and so what grease means is i can't wait to hang out with all these people and i will yeah. be doing that at southern whiskey society and we'll be talking with them at the after party so continue. yes <laughs> yeah no yes it's they will be the, at the yeah, event because of the event they will be at the in. event <laughs> <laughs> abandoned southern whiskey society we're just going to the after party don't do that <laughs> Just go to the free thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But I, you know, last year, you know, uh, you know, the podcast was a year younger and, you know, our reach was a little bit less and we hadn't developed a lot of relationships. But this year, you know, the and, and people, too, are also hearing what a success it was. And so um, that's just yeah. kind of bringing more and more people around the event um, sure. and letting it build. Sure. And um so yeah, it's 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 fun to be a part of. I love the intimacy of it. You're literally in one room that can fit about probably 750 people um, mm-hmm. in, maybe 800 people in, um, and so it, you're all just kind of right there, um, and uh, it's fun. Yeah, it's Good. it's it's pretty intimate. It's cool. <laughs> it's hip. Uh, conversations are great. Hip. Uh, you know the kids aren't saying hip anymore, right, Grease? Oh, Grease is not a kid. What are y'all saying? <laughs> Triggered? <laughs> he may act like a kid. <laughs> Man, people were... No, apparently you know, they're... It, apparently, it's triggered. Apparently they're saying lit. Oh, lit. Like it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know so, if you could use lit being describing a whiskey event. Well, I think that the after party is going to be lit, but that's a uh... <laughs> yes. Grease will probably be lit at that yeah, point. Yeah, it's a rooftop. <laughs> it's a rooftop bar too. <laughs> I'm going to well, be moving I... to Michelob Ultras after that. <laughs> after that event, I hope that they have uh, insurance at the after party event because there's oh, a good yeah. chance Grease falls off the top. Well, deck. Dixon, Dixon did. Hey, speaking of, I I feel like this is funny, but maybe it's not. Y'all tell me. Dixon text uh, oh, gosh. me and Chris Grease, and Grease Will always, earlier. Grease literally always takes like private message. Never send Grease a private message or tell him anything because he will say it <laughs> on a podcast. Like no, no, no. guaranteed. Dixon, just, Dixon was excited Keep about the tradition. event and he said, I can't wait to get in a Tesla car with you. And then I said, <laughs> I said, Tesla couldn't get the liability insurance necessary for you and I to ride this year. So we will just have to hit the whiskey double hard. <laughs> Literally, I don't know. I I don't know if if the establishment that we are going to at the after party after the podcaster event uh, after the Southern Whiskey Society. I don't know if they've got a plan in store. I'm setting the. 
I'm setting the over under of us getting kicked out at 30 minutes. Oh, I mean, yeah, I, we're going to be in the parking lot at some point. The good thing is, is the parking lot is literally like you can see it from the rooftop. You know what I mean? Parties at the Gray's uh, house after. Yeah, right. because here's the deal. You're going to have 50 people that have been drinking for four hours. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and you're and they're going to come up there. And then now, you know, I guess it's free reign right now to, you know, to light up a cigar or a cigarette or something. Now people are going to get real buzz, and it's going to get pretty tricky. So, pro tip, drink water. Drink plenty Which, of uh, There's going to be plenty, plenty of, of Mountain Valley there. Mountain Valley there water? Is. Get yeah, they're, they're a sponsor <laughs> of the event, and they will be there with, like, unlimited water. So, if you've, awesome. if you've never tried high quality Mountain Valley spring water, you'll be able to at this event. They have get sparkling water. Washita Mountains in Arkansas. <laughs> they got hey, Grease, you've well, done I filibustering, or can I say what my favorite part of the event's going to be? Oh, what I'm most looking forward it? to. Well, you essentially told my answer. <laughs> yeah, I had to rephrase it because you were you said, "Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this event at all." Yeah. And everything. I'm and looking forward to what's else. after it. <laughs> that was not what I meant. <laughs> well, what's your favorite part going to be, bud? I I get to spend four hours with the Grease. Aww. No, that's not my Aww. favorite part. It's more like five because we got to set up and tear down. And... <laughs> hey, I set up by myself last year, and you're going to be out of town until like, right true. before the that's event. That's true. I'm getting in from Portland at 2.30 in the afternoon, so I'm praying Grease, I ain't Grease delayed. is going to be three wild turkeys deep from a Southwest flight. Oh, <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> I don't know. I think, uh, yeah, no, for sure, because I'm going to have my two girls with me seven hours of flight time that day. Oh, jeez. I'm, I'm most, night. most. Our flight leaves at 4 a.m., Will, <laughs> to get back I'm... at Central Time, 2.30 in the afternoon. Hey, Grease, you know what I want you to do? Because this will be super greasy on the plane. Will you do this for me? Yeah, I'll do whatever you want me to. Heck, I'm going to have seven hours to do it, Will. I'm yeah. going to be coming. <laughs> do you know how tired I'm going to be? I'm, I'm going to be the greasiest person on the planet. <laughs> yeah, that's already yeah, accurate. Are. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have you order on the plane a beer mosa. Why? <laughs> One, they're delicious, but two, because it's hilarious. If you go, can I get me a beer mosa? And they'll be like, a what? And you go, you know, just like Budweiser and orange juice, please. <laughs> Are you si- That's good? Oh, it's actually incredible. It's really good, actually. <laughs> yeah, but I want you ordering <laughs> that on confirm. an airplane is just hysterical. Are y'all Rick rolling <laughs> me right now? Absolutely Are we Rick not. rolling you? I don't think you're using that term correctly. <laughs> no, I, thought that's, I thought that... <laughs> <laughs> Dad, come on, I thought so. I'm being Rick rolled. You know, thinking, you know, like I'm you're being thinking trolled. <laughs> oh yeah, trolled. <laughs> Which I yeah. think Rick rolling maybe is a form of trolling. Is it? I don't know. It is. Yeah, it definitely. It's is. a guy named Rick, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know uh, if we uh, have uh, time to go into the. <laughs> we really don't. But <laughs> Will, what's your favorite part of Southern Wisconsin? Uh, gonna be. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this year. We have uh, an, an assistant who's going to go fetch us food and drinks the entire time, oh, which yes. which we kind of didn't have last year. Like we were supposed to have, but like he kind of abandoned us, probably because he had never met the Grease, and then he met the Grease. He was a great dude too, and and so he same gave guy. me a dickle hat that's camo. So <laughs> that's had our to pay assistant him back this somehow. year. He's gonna and he knows what he's doing. Like as far as which whiskeys to go get first to get right. grease like greasy and and get he's just he's gonna bring greasy. chefs up to to talk with us and sit in the seat the hot seat and things like that <laughs> <laughs> so it'll, it's gonna be fun i'm looking forward to having uh for us at least more structure and just having an incredible event awesome so i mean cool i know it's gonna be even better than it was last year and so sure. I, I can't wait to just yeah. Eat and drink. <laughs> well, I I gotta say I'm most excited for you guys to actually be podcasting from the from the event and everything. <clears throat> and my last thing is, I have something special I want to bring you guys. Ooh. Um. On top of, I told you guys I was going to bring you some samples. Yeah. Uh, uh, for the show, but I have something else I want to bring you. Uh, uh, special wise. Mm. So if I bring it to you at the event, would that be okay? Yeah. Oh, do it. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. I just I just wanted to make sure before I, I mean I, there's I like it. security at the front door, so it has to get through them. Sure. Like so it can't be in a flask or anything. Oh no no no, that's fine. It's oh, a whiskey yeah, you oh, a flask. No, but, I just you know, mean like if you're gonna try to hurt the grease. I don't think people <laughs> I don't think people are worried. <laughs> About you guys, uh, about people bringing in whiskey to the event because it's one of those things. It's like, dude, like, it doesn't it doesn't matter. I, I personally would bring in whiskey to the event to drink when there's. I mean, there's a, quite a few things. Um, but hey, Grease, I I know you said you were going to switch to Michelob Ultra, but I want you to get a big goblet of red wine at the after party. Oh. oh, and just like hold it, Lannister. like real, I like love be red wine, real, Will. be like real fancy. <laughs> I love, you know, my heart's probably going to need some freaking red wine. Can I get an amen? <laughs> amen. Well, I'm going to bring you guys something special then for the uh, the actual event to cool. to sip on while you're while you're podcasting. Yeah, and we're going to have but, some speakers set up too, so like people will be able to hear us. Um, they're yeah. standing kind of. Yeah, yeah, it's it's it, it's kind of a spectacle to watch because we just kind of launch into it, and <laughs> it's I consider us like marathoners of podcasting, <laughs> and so like literally it's like we sit down and but when we start talking, they're actually it's like five minutes before the doors open, so we're right. like r- right. like ramping up into it and we just start like talking yeah. and then people come in they're like like hang around for a little bit and move on. Well, like for about the first 30 and minutes, and you and I, we, we kind of enjoyed the VIP, met Dixon, walked around, right. did some Four Roses, stuff like that, saw the booths, and sure. then we, about 30 minutes in, because a lot of people, they're not going to be listening to us that first hour because there's some exclusive <laughs> stuff they're getting. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, they're going, pew, pew, pew. Yeah. Right. So, um, yeah. so, yeah, so we'll we'll crank things up about probably 15 till pretty strong. And then uh, we'll run we'll run the dang gauntlet for about three hours. <laughs> but, you know, with me coming in, I, I'm going to have to get up at 2 a.m. Pacific time to catch a flight <laughs> at four <laughs> with my two kids. And then well, I'm going to be coming in and going straight to a dang whiskey event and going to be up until midnight. So, I mean, if you want to see a train, a guaranteed train wreck, <laughs> then you're going to want to be there. So, and the good thing is, so is we're excited. hitting the record button and there's going to be some freaking loudspeakers. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if everything I say that comes through the loudspeakers actually makes it into the recording. In fact, I know that answer is no. <laughs> um, because Will never lets that happen. But if it's you're true. there in the flesh, mm, you know, he can't, he can't edit reality. That's for damn sure. <laughs> so well, it, uh, can I give, ahead. can I give the website for where people can go check it out real quick? Yeah. I was actually about to say that it was going to be in the comments, but go ahead. Oh, well check the comments, but it's Southern whiskey well, com. Yeah. uh, takes you right there. And right now, if you order before, um, like if you get an advanced ticket, you save 20 bucks. So I think there yeah. are day of tickets, but Chris w- was telling us that based off of all the events he's done, um, it's like he can tell like this amount of percentage of tickets will sell in the last two weeks and yada, yada. Like he right. has the, like right. all these metrics worked out and he's like, this event's going to sell out. So one, if you order now, you can save 20 bucks on your ticket and on top of that, it's if you wait till the day of, you may not be able to get to go. So right. southernwhiskeysociety.com, right. super easy. You can like add it to if you have an iPhone or something, you can add it to like your Apple wallet and they scan mm-hmm. it right there. So it's you don't have to like I mean, you're going to a whiskey event, you're probably gonna lose something at some point, so you don't have to worry about <laughs> taking a ticket. Um, yeah, it's but, really yeah, easy. So- you just Southern Whiskey comes Society. Comes your email and you add it to your wallet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, check the description for the link to tickets. Uh, Will and the Grease, thank you all so much for uh, coming on and talking about this. Perry, thank you for having us, sir. This is this is round two, and I'm telling you right now, round two was better than round one. <laughs> Same thing as batch two is going to be better than batch one of Southern Whiskey Society. Do you like that? Will, you like how I did that, Will? That was pretty I, I good. I do like that. I like That's that good. a lot. Branding. Um, so... So uh, how about this? How about sometime in the next few weeks we actually uh, we we do another full episode where we talk about our experience with the the Southern Whiskey Society and yeah, uh, yeah like a wrap up, yeah, like a like a wrap yeah. party, yeah, for sure. But podcast, 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I, you don't want me yeah. to rap. <laughs> me rapping well, guys, is no good, uh, man. It ends up sounding like <laughs> a mix between Brantley Gilbert and a dang Dotson. <laughs> hey, Perry, I want to hear that. I try, hear that. try to set like the time though, like a good forty-five minutes before you want to start podcasting. Oh next yeah, time though, because yeah, grease will keep going. going with the grease will Hey man, time. I gotta push it back about fifteen minutes. Y'all okay? <laughs> it ended up only being we five minutes. Will <laughs> <laughs> we can do that? Well, if you guys want to uh, follow these guys on social media, you can head to at the podcast on Instagram and Twitter, and we also have a big uh, Facebook group. It's called The Podcasters, which is a lot of fun, mm-hmm. and we talk about how much uh, Joe Bourbon wants to kill the grease <laughs> <laughs> after barn nights. Um, yeah, Podcasters but, group, man, it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's mm-hmm. lighthearted. It's good. It's good conversation. Um, mm-hmm. You know, we pretty much kick the bullies out, so <laughs> it's a pretty <laughs> nice group. A yeah. good, good group of guys. And and ladies. No, it's Sorry. a good it's a good it's time. Not, I have I have a lot of fun guys anymore. with it. Well, um, I don't think from the beginning it's been just guys grease. That's true. Liz Henry from uh J. Henry Bourbon has been like a day one podcaster. Yeah, I mean She's before the there were time. two guys, there was a, a guy and a woman, Adam and Eve. So I mean, yeah. All right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Everything else. Do we lose Perry? I think we lost Perry. This is great. Let's say some things that he can, like, folks. Um, oh, you I, want me to go off the rails? Yeah, go off the rails real quick. Okay. And then he'll get the audio of it. Can I tell you a little bit <laughs> about the worst day of my life? Yeah, Grease, tell me about the worst day of your life. Okay, so picture this. I'm, I'm driving down the road, okay? It's raining. Might as well be a dang tornado. I, it's not a tornado, but it's just raining hard and and I'm not having a good day, okay? okay. I, I've gotten a good dose of Pepto-Bismol in my system. It is not uh-huh. working. I Uh-oh. have a crying baby in the back, okay? Yeah. My wife is trying to play um, these nursery rhyme things on our CD system or whatever it's called. I don't even know to what appease it's called your, anymore. Is she trying to appease your stomach? No, she's trying to appease our child. Oh, okay. But okay. it's just adding chaos, okay? And then, okay, so then I put on my blinker, and I accidentally leave it on for too long. Oh, Grease, why'd you do it? All these people are just sitting there honking at me, flipping me off. And I'm like, <laughs> dude, I don't know I don't know where to go or what to do right now because <clears throat> I didn't know what was happening. I thought yeah. I thought they were warning me that a tornado was coming or something. So I start Most people hauling. warn you with their middle finger. Yeah, it's a thing. Yeah. So I start <laughs> hauling it. Uh-huh. Next thing I know, I am literally getting pulled over by the police. Uh-oh. I get a ticket. <laughs> yeah. Okay? He doesn't even ask for my ID. He knows who I am, and he takes me to jail. It's my favorite story of all time, by the way. I just want to say. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, Perry. Glad to have you back. Uh, Sorry, Will just I got told lost. Me to my go phone got overheated for were, some reason. You yeah, you, you dipped out, <laughs> and I said, hey, Grease, you want to go off on the rails? And he goes, yeah. <laughs> so he started talking. <laughs> so anyway, I got arrested. Uh-huh. It was not my first time. It's probably not going to be my last time, but I was arrested. And then I go to the jail. And when I get to the jail, y'all, there's a cell there that's made for two people. But there's eight dudes in it. There's eight of them. And they're all like 300 plus pounds. And like, I can't hang with these dudes. You know what I mean? I know. And so, it, and I'm and I'm tired. I'm, a, I, I'm, an, I'm an emotional wreck. And... And I, can't ask, and I can't ask these dudes to move up off the bench so mm. that I can sit down. Mm. You know, mm. I can't do that. Mm-hmm. You got to show some street cred first. You got to show them like, man, I could stand up all night long. I don't care who I, who y'all are. But yeah. anyway, so then I get the one phone call. So who do I call? My wife already knows I'm in jail, so she, I don't need to call her. Yeah, she's going to leave call me the there man, for the man, the myth, the legend. Yeah, so I call Will. I call Will. <laughs> Will picks up. Yeah. He acts <clears throat> tired. He's like, oh, I'm oh. tired. No. Oh. And oh. I tell him the Will. situation I'm in, and he literally essentially hangs up on me. <laughs> and he's done. He's done. So I just hang up the phone, and 
Well, it was your I one was, phone call. What are you going to you? Of well, course you no, have well, I, see, I, I originally when I typed it out, I, I told people that I sold the whiskey to bail me out of jail, but really my wife sold the whiskey and to bail me out of jail. <laughs> okay. Did so the charges stick or are you good? Jail. So now I'm literally at home, <laughs> post-apocalyptic jail sentence, <laughs> um, uh, uh, post Into the, the worst, worst all over. drive of all time. And, now you're just now a stay-at-home grease. I'm literally <laughs> yeah. whiskeyless. The only thing here is the dang freaking Henry McKenna sour mash. Well, I can't Ooh. tell. I mean, your 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 shelf there looks okay, but that's a. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm sure that's all just empty bottles. <laughs> what? It's just apple juice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's yeah. So yeah, yeah. Well, guys, I want to say thank you all so much for being on the on the show. I say um, thanks for having us, Perry. Yeah, of course. Um, I don't hey, know Perry, where what's I, your, what's where your I Instagram cut out handle? Where can people reach you? I'm just kidding. It's your show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know where I cut out or anything, but uh, if you want to follow these guys on social media, you can hit up at uh, the podcast. And then if you want to follow us, we are at my bourbon shop, or excuse me, at my bourbon pod on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you want to send us an email, we are this is my bourbon shop at gmail.com. You become a patron of the show at patreon.com slash my bourbon podcast. Yeah, we're on uh, video tonight. We're being recorded video. You are raw. just just for Patreon. So uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean I'm two dollars to out. see this train wreck. Let's do this. <laughs> Guys, thank you all so much. I'm so freaking excited to actually meet you all in person. I I'm yeah. just cannot believe that it's about to happen. It's going to be um, great. We're excited too, man. August, oh, August 25th. Date. Yeah, I was about to say, did we even say the date? It's August no, 25th. No, we, we didn't. August 25th. Uh you can you can head to uh Franklin, Tennessee and we're going to we're going to be able to hang out with you. So, um again, if you, you can, need if you need hotel recommendations, uh you can go to visitfranklin.com. That's a great resource. The other thing is uh, that night uh, in the pamphlet thing, there's going to be a Lyft promo code for you. Um, so you can apply that. I, I can't remember what it is. I think it was like $10 off or something like that. So it's <laughs> it's 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 nice to get to right. and fro. Oh, I can't, yeah. I can't and, wait for that because I know that night's going to be a lot of fun. But right. uh, <laughs> guys, yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll go ahead. Yeah, I was just I was just gonna say. <laughs> He's not gonna let you stop, a, Perry. A, I know. <laughs> unless you're driving a golf cart, I wouldn't get even behind then. It's the not wheel. safe. I'd, I'd I'd get a lift. Not even the golf cart grease. <laughs> well, guys, oh, I'll see you all in a, in a couple of weeks. I can't wait for it. Uh, but until then, I'm Perry, and this is my bourbon podcast. He's Perry, and this is his bourbon podcast. Yeah, that's me. I can't get it. And that's the grease. <laughs>